Welcome back to the Tool World Podcast. I'm your host, David Jew, and I'm here with Master Jew today. <laughs> How's it going there, Mr. Jew? He's mocking me. No. Yes. So recently, we were kind of taking a look at um, Jung Jung, and towards the end of the pattern, you kind of do like a downward strike with the backhand, followed by a punch to the yeah. hand. One, two, right? No, not like that. Not like the fist coming down? No. <laughs> <laughs> and if you take a look at the application photo for it, it's actually grabbing the head and striking them. Right. So they, he's grabbing the person's head and he's hitting it. And that kind of made me think about different techniques with the reaction hand. Um, and can we create different applications for them? So for example, front elbow strike. Okay, we're using it as a target right in front. Right, yeah. Can I grab someone's head and strike it? Or maybe in like Wan Yo, Iru knife hand strike. This other hand's going to the shoulder, it's just a reaction, but could I grab someone? So I don't want to mess up that sound and then strike them here. So, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think um, for sure. Reaction hand is in a position for other types of techniques, right? But you're not really talking about. To executing another type of technique but maybe a technique that is similar to what we're just doing mm -hmm. and, and a good example I would say would be that inward uh, knife hand strike in, wa in Wanyo mm -hmm. so you do the twin outer forearm block and then your left hand goes to the shoulder let's say you're doing an inward knife hand strike with the right hand could you go twin outer forearm block and with the left hand, you do a grasping block, meaning you grab their shirt and then pull it in, pull them in towards you mm -hmm. and execute an inward knife hand strike. I think you could. I think you could do that. I mean, you're close enough anyway, really. Mm -hmm. That's not the application, though, in the encyclopedia. Right. Right. So we don't want to mix those two up. But I think if you were to look at... Um, if you were to look at techniques and how they were performed, think about like... Um, nine shape block where you're actually trying to break an elbow right mm -hmm. nine, or break a joint something like that right mm -hmm. but then it's is that the same as in warong where you do a low side a low side block with the right outer form and a high side block with the inner form the movements are very similar to um, the nine shape block mm -hmm. different Remember, because the ending position is different, because the nine shape block ends up with, like looks kind of like a nine. Where in Warong, it doesn't look that way at the the end. Mm -hmm. But the movement is in some ways very similar. So could it be used in that way as well? It's possible. Possible, it's right? Possible. Possible. Yeah. So yes, I think so. I think that um, in some ways, some of these uh, reaction type of techniques could be mm -hmm. um, used in those type of applications. Like, for instance, you talked about the holding the hand out and then punching it. Well, could you have brought that hand in and punch? Mm -hmm. Or is it held out there and then punched, right? Mm -hmm. um, you'll go you do a front elbow strike where the hand is placed out front and then the elbow actually hits the, the palm. Yeah. And that's used for target. Well, that's not the application photo. Mm -hmm. The application photo actually shows them with his um, palm on the side fist, I believe. Mm -hmm. It looks that way. So it's an could it be an application where you grab the head and hold it and pull them in? I think so, it could could happen, probably. Another example would be pull one, the inward block. Mm -hmm. One is on the back of the wrist, one's on the side of the fist, mm -hmm. right? And the one that is on the back of the wrist actually there is a possible application and that is protecting the kick from coming up mm -hmm. right it doesn't say that but if you look at the, the application it shows um, a, re the, a ready position where the knife hand is on the back of the wrist and it looks like it's in a guarding position where it protects the kick from coming upward mm -hmm. right but you don't see that with the other technique where the fist is on the side when it's on the side it goes to the hip it, it would go to the hip right because so so there's been a lot of discussion well what is that reaction hand why is it here and why is it why is it on the back of the wrist versus on the side of the fist right mm -hmm. and are they the same well they're reaction techniques yeah. one of them 
is probably a, an application to one the back of the wrist. The other one, on the other hand, you're not like you're going to grab that leg and then block it. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Um, but the idea of moving the hands, that reaction type of an idea mm-hmm. is um, being practiced. Hmm. That's interesting. That, that, that's, um, that is some interesting thoughts. So is there anything... So it is possible, but is it wrong to be teaching stuff like that? Is Do we have to be careful about that? You don't want things to get lost in too much translation or you don't, you know, you could say something and then it goes to the next school. They like the idea, then it goes to the next school and then all of a sudden you have something completely different. Right. And that's all about standard, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And so it's kind of important that... Um, instructors uh, not just in within the school itself all the instructors have to be on the same page and teaching the same thing otherwise you've got some kind of conflict going on Mm -hmm. and I would think that's also true with an organization a larger organization worldwide organization and so that's where you have seminars and you have the technical director explaining these techniques so that we're all on the same page. And that would also be true with like the encyclopedia. So once you start changing some of those ideas, this you're changing it, right? Mm-hmm. And it, the encyclopedia didn't say you it couldn't grab someone and then pull someone in yeah. like in Wadron. Yeah, it didn't right. say that. It's just that the example he has is a reaction hand where there's no grabbing right. and he doesn't even say that you're going to grab somebody right yeah so if you do that then it, then you are in a way changing it and mm. that's not that's not right for that art not well I, I, I think that's just not correct according to like the book yeah. but the book is kind of black and white is there some lenience leniency mm-hmm. going on there Right. Could be, you know, it's like self-defense. I always say, look, it doesn't matter how you how you execute the technique. The only thing that's important is who's the last one standing. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Whether I do an inward knife hand strike, um, where the reaction hand went to my hip or went to my shoulder, I don't know. Does mm-hmm. it matter? <laughs> <laughs> In that case, it doesn't. But as an art, it does. Right. That's an interesting thought. All right, any other thoughts on the reaction hand? Well, what, what are your thoughts on it? Well, you know, what I'm thinking about is a lot of times the encyclopedia is not written with the words. It's just the pictures. And right. So it's really left up to you to interpret to it, interpret it and mm. dis- decipher it. I think there's a lot of um, routes that you can go with that and different things to study about in the encyclopedia for that. Right. Um, and I don't know if there's a set thing yet but I think there's also more kind of paths you could take with that idea yeah well that's also kind of interesting too what what I find interesting is in Taekwondo we can we can talk about and just and debate about it and that can go on for your lifetime Mm -hmm. you know um, when it's just a sport well it's just a sport right Mm -hmm. or if it's just strictly self-defense it's just how do you beat that guy up? <laughs> right. Yeah. I think the I think um martial art is a little bit more than just it has to be a little bit more about everything, right? Mm-hmm. We want to be able to talk about sport. We want to be able to talk about actual applications. We want to be, talk about um theoretical ideas. For me anyway. Yeah. Not may not be for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well let us know your thoughts on these extra hands and are they bigger purpose for them if i had two extra arms you know yep be game over could be (laughs) (laughs) i look funny though (laughs) yeah well thanks for jumping into another tool world podcast don't forget to be safe keep training we'll see you guys next week take one